Hello, good day. Once again, welcome to my Finance Friday channel, Path Life Tips. Today, let's look at that garden that we had at all a couple of weeks ago. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, so let's start uh, from here. Let's talk about um, the Angara. Hmm? The Angara has been doing well. We have been harvesting the Angara all this while. It has been producing delicious, precious fruits, you know, that we have been harvesting on, um, on a regular basis. Actually, this was harvested yesterday. Oh, that was my mistake. I should have left it and harvested it today so that um, everyone will see how it has been doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, the Angara fruits. This, these are the Angara fruits. I have, I did harvest it yesterday, you know, but we can still see some that has not been harvested, you know, like this ones over here. Yeah, so this is, this is the Angara. This is the Angara over here. Okay. And then, uh, look at, this is the yam. I think it's doing well. Maybe, maybe this year we'll be able to get some yam. You know, last year, we weren't that successful. And uh, the tomato, um, as you can see, they are still doing well. Uh, I did um, finish the first round of uh, fruiting and now it's coming back up again. Okay? So now, let's look at that precious sogo once again you know the ogo has been growing and as it has been growing i have been trying to put um you know some some trees or rather some some infrastructure so that it will be climbing you know climbing all this so this is the ogo this is the ogo. It is doing very, very well. This is the ogo. In one of my videos last time, I talked about um, the male and the female part of ogo. Okay? So, this, as you can see, look at it. This is the male part of ogo we call it mboleba if you look at it it looks more like a bell it looks more like a bell so this is why we call it mboleba this type of this type that produces this kind of flowers is the male type of ogo this is the male type of ogo you know if you look at here i have so many of them so many of the male types of ogo you know, but if you want to get the fruits, you need both the male and the female. Okay? Yeah, you need the male and the female. Um, as you can see, you know, this this part I have completely harvested all the leaves. I harvested all the leaves from here and it's growing right back. Okay? It's, it's growing right back so this is this is this is the ogo this is the ogo is doing rather very well and this like i said before is the male part of it you will see how it is actually i will put the male and the female together and you will see the difference on your own this is this is the male part of ogo Dogo actually is doing very well. I'm, go I'm going to do another round of harvest. I'm going to do another round of harvest um, this this weekend. So this is this is the 
this is the ogo yeah the ogo is still going actually it has taken over the entire or oh, more than three quarters of my garden has been taken over by the ogo and i'm okay with that you know because it's so precious it's so healthy you know so this is this is the edda like i talked about before the edda is doing still doing very well and because the leaves keeps on covering the smaller plants this is the edda mm -hmm. because it keeps on covering the smaller plants i tend to you know bend it so that the other ones we get some light and some and some air okay so you see this is why i bend it so that it won't be obstructing my my view yeah so this is the edda okay so this one this one here i don't know if you are seeing it this one here okay let me show you where it is we have a better view this this is the one that we call Sokoto Yokoto. We call this one Sokoto Yokoto back home in Nigeria. This is the Sokoto Yokoto. It looks more like um, the spinach that we do get here. And it's so good. It's so good. You can use it for so many things. You can use it for your stew. You can use it for soup. Actually, I also use it. This is the Sokoto Yokoto. Hmm? This is the Sokoto Yokoto here. I also use it to fry my egg. If I'm doing egg omelette, I use this to do my egg omelette. Okay. And then this, this is the, this is the, our own local Igbo Mborofe. This is the one that we use to prepare that delicious um, local, um, Abacha. This is the one we use to prepare the local abacha back home. And this, and we also use the leaves for miroku, mirokuji and soup too. So this is that one, the our local um our local mborofe. You see it's fruiting. Some of the fruits has turned red, and those are the ones I'm going to preserve. I use let's say and then uh, this one, as you can see here, is the akede. This is this is akede. This is akede here. It has been producing fruits. It has really been producing fruits. And this is, you know, some of the fruits. These ones are still green. The ones that are harvested and matured that turned uh, brown, I harvested them um, a couple of days ago. And this is here, this is the Olubu. This is Olubu, Bisalev. You know, we have Bisalev here. And they are delicious, they are doing very well. You know, um, the tomato, like I said, is coming right up again. And the, the bell pepper, they are all coming right up again. You know, this farm is small. You know but uh we have most things here oh yeah here um i don't know if i did talk about this before this is a potato this is potato and this is the the local sweet potato that we have we use back home in nigeria not the irish potato or what so this this is you know that potato right here and this potato, you can eat the leaves. You can eat the leaves. You can use it to prepare your yam. It's delicious and yummy. Okay? Yeah. So, you know, this, this is also one of the yams. This is the yam here. Um, yeah, I know it's going to do well. Produce some tuba yams. And uh, the pepper, you see, the pepper is fruiting very well. 
Yeah, so this is the pepper here. Yeah, this is the pepper here. Yeah, this is the hot pepper. This is Habreno. It's doing, it's doing well. This ogo, I will do a special video on this ogo. Remind me, you can send me a test or send a comment and ask me what is so special about this ogo that I have to do a special video on it separately. I'm going to do that. And this is the yam. Hmm? And you can see. Okay, so I was talking about um, the male part of fogo before. And I was showing you the mbalewa. So you can see this one clustered together. This Most of this ogo here are the male type. And it, it, another way that you can dictate the male is that the stem is always smaller than the female one. So this is the female. You see how big it is and this is the mouth you see how small it is okay and then the mbaleba which is this one this is this is the mbaleba the mbaleba ogo okay yeah and um uchong uchong and so on and um the curry yeah so now let me talk a little bit more about the male and the female let me talk a little bit more about the male and the female part of ogo as i was saying this is the male part of Ogo. This is the Mbaleba of the male part of Ogo. And then here, let me show you the female. This here is the female Ogo. Let me see if I can bring this closer. This here. This is the the female. The female logo. Hmm? If you look at both of them together, you will notice the difference. This one does, doesn't have this pod that this one has here. You see this pod over here? This one doesn't have it. It just has something that is more like a stick. Okay? Why this one has already started producing the pod? So this is the male, this is the female part of Fogo. And this is the male part of Fogo. There are other ones that are growing you know they are small pots but this one is ready for pollination to happen it's ready to be fertilized okay so the pollination is usually done by by insects butterflies bees and so on when they fly and page on this male, when the, the insects fly and page on this male part of the Mgaleba Ogo, they are there to suck the nectar. After they have flown here and sucked their nectar, their feet collects the pollen from this. And then when they come here to also suck the nectar from this one, those pollen on their tiny legs is deposited on this one and that's how the pollination takes place so i am going to do this pollination myself so i am going to remove from the male 
Mbolewa, I'm going to remove the white petals and expose the nectar and the pollen. Okay? So, yeah. I removed the white petals and now I, I have the pollen with me here. So what I will do is I will come to the to the female type and open up the petals and insert it inside here and close it up with the with the with the white petals and let it stay there. It's already pollinated. So it will now start growing the pod. You see, the thing is that if it's not pollinated, if insects did not pollinate it, or I did not pollinate it, it will shrink and die. And let me show you one that did that already. So look at this one. Look at this one over here. So this one, you see how it shrank? It died because it wasn't pollinated. Yeah, I have another one here. Okay, I think I think I can just bring it out because it's already dead. So this one, so you see this one? Because it wasn't pollinated, it wasn't fertilized, it died. So any one of them that was not that didn't get the pollen from the male one will shrink like this one and die okay it will shrink like this and die and i have had a couple of them actually this is one of the first ones that came up but because it wasn't pollinated it shrinked like this and died okay but then if eventually If eventually it is pollinated, if it did get, you know, those pollens through the insects or through human pollination, through, you know, the pots will start growing. Okay? One of those ones. Do you see this one? This has been pollinated and it's growing. You see how big it is? And I pray that even though the cold weather is going to be here, not far from now, that this will grow and mature before that bad weather gets here. Okay? So we have been lucky to get that one, you know, that was pollinated and growing. And then look at another one. At this one do you see how good it looks it's growing it's growing and this is i know it's going to mature before the bad weather gets here okay and i pray that eventually we will be able to get ogo foods ogo seeds from here in america we're going to get it. Okay, we are going to make it. We've made it already. You know, yeah, it makes me so happy. So, 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 so happy. You know, that we have the Ogo pots that is this big. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please share it. And if you have any questions, let me know. My phone number is on the screen. My email address is also there. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me, especially if you also want to know how you can develop your own farm here in diaspora, how you can get your own ogo to develop. Let me know because by next year, by the next farming season,
I should have abundant ogre seeds. Not just for myself, for anyone that wants it. Not just from ogre seeds. My special video, like I told you, about that ogo that I spoke about before, I will do it next week and let you know what is so special about Togo, about that Togo. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for all your support and your encouragement. Remember to subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Thank you. Remain blessed.